Hey everyone, this is Ken, and today I'm going to be doing a tutorial, guys, on a brand new rail duper for 1.18.2 to 1.19. Now, what's great about this, guys, is the fact that this thing works with rail detectors, power rails, rail activators, and regular rails itself. Now, to really start the system, guys, it goes even right across the board. All you have to do is hit that lever, and the duping of the rails will activate, sending all those items into the hopper directly into that chest. Now the rates are crazy right out the gate. You're talking about 10,400 per unit, which is awesome. Now enough talking, these are going to be the items you're going to need to make this four rail setup. Make sure you pause the video and hit that subscribe button if you haven't had the chance to. Now it's going to be about nine wide, eight long, three tall, and two blocks deep. Now once you've done it, go right here in the center. You're going to leave a gap in between and place a resto lamp right there parallel to the ground. And you're going to place a total of four resto lamps with a block in between them, or a space in between them. And right underneath the resto lamp, guys, you're going to add a straight line of resto dust with a block in front, at the back, the resto torch, another block, and another resto dust. And simply replicate that three times. Perfect. Now, once you have this awesome look, guys, you're going to place a block right there in the bottom with a sticky piston on top. And place another block with another sticky piston on top. And of course, guys, just simply replicate that two more times. Perfect. Now, once you've done that, guys, parallel to the extended part, you're going to place a block with an observer going upwards right underneath and an observer block right on top. Make sure the face part is facing downwards. Then add two sign blocks right in front. Then get another observer block and place it right in the front end on the bottom part, like so. Then you'll place one large chest parallel to the rest of the lamp. And once you've done that, guys, place one hopper on top on the back end facing down. Now, once you've done that, guys, you're going to place a furnace, like so, two on each side. You can use a furnace, obsidian, or any immovable block that won't be affected by the slime. You're going to place two on top, four on the side, two on top, four on the side, and you kind of get the same exact pattern. You really just want to cover everything up. See? Perfect. And you want to place two right underneath here just to prevent anything from falling or kind of glitching through. Now, at this point, guys, get your block of choice. I'm going to use birch wood or birch planks, and you're going to simply cover up this whole area, make it a nice solid floor. Fantastic. Then you're going to add your levers on top of the rest of the lamps and add your block of choice in between the furnaces just to make this like one solid piece. And you don't have to do it this way. You can use a solid block, but I'm going to use glass and I'm going to place two glass blocks in between like so right across and in front and an upside down stairs from one end all the way down to the other. Then you're going to add four glasses or glass blocks in between again, just kind of extending that wall right across. And add two lines of glass blocks right across in the front end. Now, this is the perfect time, guys, to choose your rails of choice right across each one. Sorry for the background noise. And you're going to cover the top part, guys, with a glass block of your choice or a solid block. It doesn't have to be glass, but you can use any block you want. Long story short, once it's done, that's it. That's really it, guys. All you have to do is really decorate this to your style. And when you turn it on, you should have this look. I hope you guys enjoyed this. Once again, thank you so much for all the support. Sorry for the background noise. I do live in New York, and it just gets super loud over here. It's never quiet. And anyway, once again, if you haven't already, make sure to subscribe, and uh, have a great day. Anyway, I want to thank everybody for watching. Remember to please leave a comment and to click that subscribe button if you want to join. Thank you.